Hello from Mason County. We're located here on my farm outside of Lewisburg and wanted to show you the black vulture effigy. Now a lot of folks are aware of the problems we got with black vultures. They have attacked our cattle, especially during the birthing process and killed calves. We've had many losses throughout the years and this problem hasn't gone away. Now we understand a lot of people will try to protect their animals through various means, but I tell farmers too, you can't be there 24 seven. And so the idea of having an effigy is to scare the vultures away. The black vultures have very keen eyesight and that's the reason these effigies work because they come in and they'll see what appears to be a black vulture in distress and they'll avoid the area. Unlike turkey vultures, which may even still come to your farm, they don't have the eyesight like the black vultures do. They rely more on smell to find their prey or their target of dead animals. For black vultures, they have attacked our calves, especially during the birthing process. And that's why we want to have this effigy up. It's going to help protect your farm when you're not there and hopefully keep the black vultures away. Uh, this one is made from a rubber mat, and we've got the pattern available to you at the extension office, and uh, you can cut it out. Uh, it says in the in the instructions to use a stall mat. We found that the stall mats, they don't have the reinforcement that a lot of things normally do, and they tend to break. And so we would recommend you probably use a, a rubber belt if you can find some old used belting and that would give you something that's gonna last for years and years. It does take some management. You need to move it occasionally from place to place. But what you're looking for is what we have here, a very high location on your farm, a place that uh, can be seen from most of your fields. And especially for what we've got, we've got our calving uh, pasture over here. And so this is perfect with this big open tree, a big dead tree, uh, very easy to see. Uh, the black vulture for most of the farm area uh, but you want to get it up high and as you can see there's a little bit of a challenge you may have to throw once or twice to get a rope up over there but as long as they can see the vulture it'll still work um, another thing we want to remind folks about is the permit process for protecting your livestock we're very fortunate because these birds are protected on the endangered species list they're on the migratory bird list, not the endangered species, because there's 20 million of them in this country. But it's the migratory bird list that does give them the protected status. But through Farm Bureau, we can get a permit that allows you to take up to three birds and to protect your farm. Now, another thing you can do if you are um, in need or you do take a bird uh, to protect your livestock, you can take that same bird and hang it upside down and do the same thing we're doing with this effigy. And that, again, that dead bird will help protect your farm by keeping the birds away. So as we're right in the middle of fall calving season, we want to be on the lookout for the black vultures. If you're a spring calver, you've got a winter project here building your effigy. And we encourage you to start thinking about that now. It is a little bit of a challenge to go through, cut this out and put it together. But if it saves two or three calves, it's well worth it. And we're hoping that folks can utilize this on the farm along with the permit process. And we just asked if there's anything that Cattlemen's can help you with or the Extension Office, give us a call and we'll be glad to help any way we can during this challenging time.